I got it. It's official. These nice ladies set me up. I got my badge for SEMA and we're off. Check it out. Thank you. Come on for the ride. All right, we made it out of the tunnel of death. Now we're heading up into Central Hall, baby. Come on. There we go. The keys to the kingdom. Heading on in Central Hall. Love the Whipple. I've said it before, I'll say it again. A lot of these shows, you get something for everyone at SEMA, literally. There's Porsches, BMWs, Lamborghinis, trucks, electric, it doesn't matter, everything. Oh. Roaster shop in the house. That's a cool case. Oh yeah, that's old. That's old. Thanks. Oh, Jeff. Got a little SEMA gear for you. And this is Central Hall. This whole area over here used to be not owned by, but Ford lived here for, geez, forever. For as long as I've been at the at the show, Ford was in this entire display. They're not here. Neither is Chevrolet. This is Central Hall, baby. Love those flames. So I've been seeing a whole bunch of are these blazers. You know, I used to have a 72. Bunch of blazers here, all little Whipple. Blazer with a Whipple blower on top. That is America right there. So awesome. Six lugs wheels, mine, mine had eight lugs on them. So, so awesome. Did I tell you, you never know who you're gonna find at the SEMA show? Yeah. He's very important. He'll tell you himself. The man, the myth, there he is. Mr. Eaton himself, or no, Aragon. Aragon? Aragorn. Aragorn, there we go, there we go. Yeah, Aragorn or Eaton. This is Michael, he's the man. Jeff is the man. <laughs> All right, from Michael and Eaton, Mickey Thompson, and apparently uh, Cotton and Alex were here yesterday. Ah, there we go. There's a little Alex Taylor stand on the gas. Yeah, Cotton and Alex are here signing yesterday, is what I heard. I didn't see him, but uh, yeah, Mickey Thompson tires. Oh, and I've got to go say hi. We've got Holly in the house. Hey, man. And I've got to represent just a little bit roadster shop check that out best in roadster shop and they let uh, apparently they let anyone in here even if you uh, reportedly wear a good guy's badge the hell? <laughs> especially if you wear a good guy's badge <laughs> right. and then uh, I got my roadster shop here so I'm representing oh, okay. just a little okay. bit so you, get to, you get to be in the booth and, no, I don't know about that know, but like, uh, yeah the official you gotta love SEMA run into my car family <laughs> Gear vendors overdrive. We've got the Havlicks in there. Oh, geez. They do let anyone in here. Even without a good guy's grenade. Yeah. Ah. What's going yeah. on? How are you? Good. How are yeah, you? Good to see you guys. Got yeah. the Opal. You guys doing yeah. this thing on what? Drag week and sick week? Yep. Whatever, whatever, one. whatever it is. You don't care. Yep. <laughs> as long as there's 1320, you'll, you'll take it down there. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Yep. More car family at the SEMA show. See you guys. See ya. 
Dakota Digital in the house. You know, I love my RTX gauges. They've got a new, um, not speedometer, what do you call it? The new cruise control thing. Drive-by wire cruise control. Drive-by wire That's cruise right. control. And get out of the way. There we go. There it is. I like the three screens, but you need to make just one big screen. To... Yeah. Is that in the works? Uh, just say yes. It's one of the new products to see what show this year. It'll be, uh, for next year, it'll be the it'll best. Be, it's here in the new product area, yeah. With well, the whole one big screen, not three separate? For kind of a common, like a race style. Uh, so it's a large seven inch screen in a you know nice block housing. I got gotcha. you, yep. okay. But yeah, love that. Uh, 21,000 miles this year in my RTX. I think six, no, wait, yeah. All right, we got my buddies at Dakota Digital. <laughs> love the off-road stuff. I love 55 Chevy. Nice. Good morning. From a 55 Chevy? Yesterday. It's got things sticking through the hood on this thing. Little Magnus and blower, love that. Dig the Nova LS1, gold wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, you could win this car. I know these guys can't. Yeah, we can. I, I signed up my mother who lives in Norway. Seriously? Yeah. You go already going with the mom yeah, jokes. Yeah, it's going to mom. What? What's up, buddy? Got the good guys here, yeah, living the dream. Yeah, he's, he spent the night here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never last. That's it. Yeah, you guys could win that car. But you got to be present to win. Oh, yeah, and here's the schedule for next year. Close luck. Oh, geez. And you, I, did I tell you? CPP, Classic Performance Products, your one-stop shop for steering, suspension, and brakes. And look who's here. She's like, don't look at me. I know, don't put me Don't look there. at me, how are you? Are they good? Good, good, good really morning. Really good, how you doing? Actually, where's the, uh, is that it? The e-booster, it's three wires, 68 to 87 yeah. for the uh, C10s. Why do I know all this? It's, it's, it's just crazy. You can check them out at uh, classicperform.com. Use the hashtag to giddy up. There it is. Oh, I'm classicperform.com. There it is. You may have seen Mike DeSold or heard of Mike DeSold. This is built for us plowing snow in Colorado. Engine is set back just a little bit. Airplane inspired interior. He's raced this thing up Pikes Peak. Crashed it up Pikes Peak. Well, he hasn't, but it's been raced. And it just got uh, crashed again. It's got a few miles on it. Yeah, check out DeSold Designs. First time I've seen it since it's been rebuilt. But yeah, look at that big old front splitter. Oh, and they took off the uh, the fan club sticker. <clears throat> this old designs. This, oh man, and look at this, holy Moses. 429 Boss, is it really? It is, Miss Calypso, rare 70. 429 Boss engine, and it is for sale if the price is right. Dude, Boss 429. Nice. Oh, jeez. Lucky Casa, Hot Rod Garage. Wow, that is awesome. We do need help. You know, it's better than I do a couple of guys. Try fives with plenty. A little 57. Nice. I saw this thing yesterday and just got a short on it. Ram Air. That's a big block. That's a big block. That's a 535, actually, but yes, it's a... But, I mean, it's a big... It's, it's not a, an LS. Yeah. No, it's no, a big I, block. I, 
it's a Pontiac for But it's a big block. Gotta go Pontiac. I, I'm Pontiac. gonna do it. It's, it's so awesome. Attention in the call. Welcome to day three uh -oh. of the day three. Day three. All right, geez, yeah. We're open for business. I got to get to work before the crowds show up. Five thirty-five. Five hundred and thirty-five cubic inches, completely stocked from the factory. I love it. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right, from the little Firebird, we come over here to TMI, and we've got TMI's resident janitor. Ross is there. Uh, he's cleaning up the carpets as well. He does. You got to keep the carpets clean, my friend. How are you? Doing great. Thanks. <laughs> Ross and TMI. He did uh, Keith's little G body, and I don't mean you did it, but you set it up. Oh, and uh, hey, where's the evil van? The evil van. It's in South Hall. Okay. Thank yeah. you. I got to see that. How did that yes. turn out? Uh, I have not seen them. You have it. I know. Okay, we got it. Th there's a uh, Jeff Styles Overman. Yes. Uh, yeah, did the Evil Knievel Band. We're going to check that out too. Can't and wait. Uh, tell me about the. Uh, how, how did this come out? How do you oh, think this? This is amazing. So uh, Keith over at OC Hot Rods, um, him and Aaron, they did a killer job on this. Uh, we're really excited because uh, earlier this year we did the Gen 3 Camaro. The Gen 3 uh, Camaro uh, was. was Kind of like the second to last piece of the puzzle for our 80s stuff. You know, you figure we got OBS, Fox Body, Gen 3 Camaro, and now G Body. The so G Body Boogie? The Monte Carlo, oh my gosh, the, the, the rave reviews, the amount of people stopping by to check this out, it's the last piece of the puzzle. For and me. it's not just a regular G Body, check this out, it's the super rare Aero Coupe. Only 2200. That's, I thought it was more than that. 2200? For Aero Coupe. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Angela Payne used to drive one in the autocross. Hers was supposedly yeah. uh, bought at Dale Earnhardt. But, uh, yeah, God love the Aero Coupe. And uh, well, there you go. Orange County Hot Rods, baby. Okay, yeah, there it is. TMI. Very nice. You can get, oh, I got the fingerprints on it. Sorry. Sorry, Keith. Oh, that's it. Right? You're fired. I'm not even hired. <laughs> Wait, I was hired? Thanks, Ross. Thank you. <laughs> Check them out. TMI products and uh, what is it, interior in a box? That's it, complete interior in a box. It's just that easy. That's it. Thanks, my friend. Give them the website. Right. Go to tmiproducts.com and you'll be able to check it all out right there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just that simple. See you, bud. All right. <laughs> oh, and from the Aero Coupe to the 1957 Chevy built by Arrington Performance and the Mike Copeland, it's got an uh, Edelbrock 2650 supercharger on it. I'm not, oh, and the engine is a Gen 3 Hemi 5.3 liters. Uh, think, oh, I forget who the cooling module is. That's your AC, that's your intercooler, and there's your transmission cooler. This thing runs on hydrogen. I'm not making this shit up. Oops, sorry. I'm not making this up. It runs on hydrogen. It's going to change the world. Mike is going to change the world. Look at this. There's the gas tank. Well, that's not gas. It's a hydrogen tank. Yeah. And there's where you fill it up with uh, your fuel. Uh, yeah, running super clean, super cool. Mike Copeland, Arrington Performance, gonna change the world. Oh, there you go. First hydrogen powered hot rod to be auctioned off. So check it out, you can help out Clay and Lutz. There you go. All proceeds donated to the Tech Force Trade School Scholarship. Check out the little VW. Super cool. From hydrogen power, Willwood disc brakes. From hydrogen power to hot air power. Oh, that's not, where's Mike? Yeah. I'm talking about hot air power. Oh, he's going and talking. So it's of course he is. Of course he is. How's it going to SEMA? It's going good, man. Yeah. It started the third day, is it now? I think so. I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, no. Are you thrilled or are you ready to be done? No, I'm doing great, man. I got my coffee in hand, ready to talk to you. Hold that your hands, you jittering? Oh, uh, all right. No, Caleb, good. check him out at uh, willwood.com. Yeah, gotta right? get over to the bronze lot and check out some of the Optima cars. Oh, they the just started at nine. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, yeah. nine o'clock. We're heading over. We're going to walk through here and then we're heading over to Optima to check it out. Some car racing. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, hey. I'll see you. All right. From They're the two guys right there. <laughs> Did I tell you they got something for everyone? Even Toyotas. A little Celica and a Datsun. I did like that. Living side by side with his twin turbo fastback type device. 
How nuts is that thing? Twin turbos. Looks like a sequential gearbox. That looks like a racing type car. And a turbocharged jet ski. Keep it off the lake. I don't want to destroy my glass. There it is, 1954 Chevrolet. 55 headlights, Corvette grille. Super smooth. This looks like Welder Up's creations. Oh, it's all good, dude. Pretty tough. Oh, that is a Welder Up. There you go. A little flame beetle. Doug Glad from Hot Rod Magazine just walked right on by me. Got me on the paint on mine. Let's see it, buddy. Yeah, it's got a Hemi. Love that carbon fiber. Carbon fiber pistol grip shifter. Look at that carbon fiber accent, I love it. And look, they're doing live hits right here. Gotta love to see Michelle. Red line oil. You guys are good. So that's the guy right there. Yeah, he I is do, a guy right now. there. What'd you do now? Well, you're the one who supplies me with my uh, 10W, 10, 5, whatever it is. My red line oil, the synthetic uh, transmission fluid, my water wetter, my, uh, uh, Jeff this said. Oh, yeah. there you go. There yeah. you go. I'm utterly forgettable. Don't, yeah, don't feel bad no, about no, it. But no, no. this is a guy, yeah, the 55 uses all of red line's fluids. Oh, and oh, the 55 is bad, too. <laughs> you just made my day. Where'd he go? There we go. The ATF break-in. Uh, 5W, not 50, I don't think. Anyways, yeah, all your, all the red line goodness. So everybody who watches this, who, this dude making a video is freaking bad to the bone. I love this deal. I love this freaking. He car. just made my day. Love, Thank you, sir. Love, you know, the way, the way you park that thing with all those strategic pictures and stuff like that. That's awesome. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Thank you for being Where do you see it car. right now? It's filthy. I went. Uh, I left on Monday during a winter storm advisory over the Continental Divide. There was snow and ice and all sorts. So it's it's filthy. Oh, that's awesome. It's filthy. Get, yeah. it's I'm proud to be a part of Team Redline. Team yeah. Redline Oil, brother. And from Team Redline, a very clean little '55 Chevy. Bill is just lounging about. I'm surprised you're awake. Why is that? Jason already on social media checking his stocks. These are the guys, Scoggin and Dickie Parts Center. We're going home early because the stock market bump. That's rubbish. You'll be here all day. You live for this stuff. Yeah. And what's the website? SDParts.com. SDParts.com. There you go. Check out this LT5 in this thing. Super clean build. Looks like a Willwood Master. Oh yeah, LT5 with the eight-speed automatic. Nice. Can I open the door? Oh wow, what the heck? Wow, that's beautiful. Nice headliner. Oh. Look at that, Mad Mooks, he's no longer around. Uh, check out Aaron at Orange County Hot Rods uh, if you want those, the door strikers, they're beautiful. Very nice. That's why I got the uh, 
on my TMI interior. Cotton told me to get it uh, dark because dark hides dirt and I'm dirty. Very clean 55. It's Scog and Dickey. Right next door to Scog and Dickey, we've got Lonnie Grimm. He's the so drag racing say, whisperer, yeah, and yeah, I am yeah, the yeah, voice yeah. of the NHRA. What is the rule book and how do we apply it? Uh, so the rule book is written in black Man, and white. Most your of friend in mind, David Kennedy. But uh, from the, from the really? tech department, it's black and white. I get to go behind the rules. The David Kennedy. There's really three answers to every single How are you, my friend? We see it. We see it. It's located. Yes, no, or doesn't apply. Right. And so there are certain rules in certain categories that don't apply to other categories. Uh, there are certain rules within the same category that may not apply to your combination. But nonetheless, the, the, the NHRA baby come on. Very out. consistent in its enforcement. Okay. Uh, there are different levels of enforcement, obviously. If it, and if you're on the Hot Rod Power Tour West, you may have seen our editor in chief, John McGann, take this thing down the 13, 20 quarter mile at the uh, Pomona drag strip in and out. And oh, look who's here living the dream. You got your, uh, is that yeah. a white Russian? Just got my KB white delivery. Russian. KB, oh! <laughs> Speak of the devil and KB appears. Woo. Hello KB, Hi. how are you? Good, 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 good to see you. Good to see you. Are Living you the dream of motor trimming, what? Are we live? No, just, okay. it'll be on a, see me, your okay. hair looks great though. Okay. Yeah. Are we good here? Oh uh, yeah, you're looking As long as we're good here, yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, well, where? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Seriously? <laughs> motor Trend, baby, Hot Rod Magazine. Oh yeah, and if you're with us on the Hot Rod Power Tour, the regular one, Apparently this thing can uh, literally withstand a few hundred pounds. We stood on this. Similar to this Dassault, it's a, uh, yeah, there's no engine up front. Mid-engine, a little bit of uh, aerodynamics. Slicks on there. Kind of cool, right? Oh yeah, that's the dude. We saw What's you the Hot Rod Power Tour. How are you? Oh, yeah, good. How are You're you? You're the one who said, yeah, go ahead and stand on it. And then we jumped on the front wing or yeah. the front splitter. Yeah, yeah for sure. How many miles you got on it now? Not a lot. Not a lot. We have, we put on the dyno and then we put it on two kind of airfields and tested it. And what did it do on the dyno? Uh, 1,300, the wheels will be stopped there. Our tuner is like, yeah, it could go 2,000 really easily. We're at 14 PSI of boost. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we can go up to like 30, 32 or something like that. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Drive the stink out of it. Yeah, thank you. Can Appreciate I uh, see this wheel? Yeah. Yeah, you can take a look at it. Carbon fiber, lots of buttons, just like Formula One. Oh, exactly. Thank exactly. you, sir. Yeah, no problem. See you around. Yeah, you will. <laughs> okay. Only at SEMA, baby. Well, and the Hot Rod Power Tour. Motor Trend, come on. <laughs> and you know it's not officially a car show until Mad Boys in the house live and in person and here with jeff fisted <laughs> five-time midget sprint car champion great to see you great to see you my friend thanks for coming today yeah uh, yeah it's the the man at hemmings uh muscle palooza and a whole bunch of other stuff so uh yeah how long has it been two, two years two? here no two years here but we went over 15 a long time well let's see Power we, Power we, Tour years ago you and i broke up in 2012 so yeah it's been about 20 years <laughs> Part of my car family here at the SEMA show. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, QA1. You never know who you're going to find in QA1. Ah, oh, geez. There's that guy right you got there. A haircut? What? You got a haircut. You didn't even notice last night. Oh, yeah, no, I had on my hat. Yeah. I'm impressed. Mike Cotton from, where is it at? From No Bear. Come on. From Faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy right there, you may have seen him in the video. Good morning, sunshine. There we go. Again, car family here at SEMA. So, 1963 Corvette. Side pipes, LS. Beautiful paint. Stinger hood from a 67, but that's all right. That is a good looking automobile. Oh, but wait, what's this over here? Love that induction. And the color. Hogan built, good looking little C10. 
short bed. I like the wheels. Nice interior. All right. Oh, Roaster Shop chassis. That gives you that stance. <laughs> and the Willwood disc brakes. Only the best. SEMA show, baby. There you go, Gandridge Chevrolet. Got the LT4, 67 Chevelle. Little Camaro action, 68. Look at that. That's a red interior, I tell you what. Oh, this doesn't have the LT4. It looks like a little Whipple on there. And then LT4s. Out of the four cars, they've got three LT4s, but there's a two-year waiting list for the LT4. Don't make sense, but it's all good. Gander Chevrolet, baby. All right, you may know him. Jeff Styles Overman. Got the evil van. Ace of Shades Cotton was here yesterday. Oh, there it is. Ace of Shades. Oh, go ahead. That's it. Check this thing out. It's got a TMI interior. Did I tell you? TMI, there you go. How cool is this? Evil helmet. Oh, look at the mural on the ceiling. And Clay Milliken had his uh, top fuel dragster in the evil livery. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, I think Jeff will be here around noon o'clock. Rat Fink. And this is the guy with the boogie van. So if you look at Boogie Van on the internet, he's got that too. It's been the Grand National Roaster Show. And that's uh, Evil's motto on the gas tank, Color Me Local. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. The Evil Van, only at the SEMA Show. With the lovely Jeanette. TMI. Right? TMI. Vader, lots of G bodies here. This is a Ring Brothers G body boogie. Looks like a little twin turbo device in there. Super clean carbon fiber <laughs> Ring Brothers mirrors. Safety tubes. Tim Strange loves the safety tubes. Love that. Little carbon fiber accents. Love those carbon fiber accents on there. And that's the dude right there. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Look at that. Super smooth Ring Brothers G body at the SEMA show Las Vegas Invader. Couple of cars at HP Tuners. Check this out. 66. Carbon fiber hoops. Pretty sweet ride. Part of this car. Now with that kind of attitude, you can. Split bumper Z28. some pretty sweet stuff at the SEMA show 2024. What's your favorite car? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for coming along for the ride. I'm Jeff Fisted. Adios, amigos.